morning guys. It's 4.30 in the morning. I'm gonna be on my way to Orlando and this is gonna be Obsessed Garage's open house. I'm gonna be meeting up uh, a few other guys from Orlando and we're meeting off the turnpike and then from there we're gonna be driving over to uh, OG HQ. And when we get into the car, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the whole event. So should we do a cold start? Yeah, let's do a cold start. Let's hear that. Not recommended if your neighbors hate you and not recommended if your neighbors are close to you, right? I'm in a parking garage, so nobody really hears this, and everybody's pretty, pretty much still asleep. It's 4, 442, and everybody should be asleep right now. But I'm um, gonna be uh, getting going. I'm excited, this should be a good, nice road trip up there. In hindsight, when you think about it, it's only 222 miles in total, but that equates to almost four hours. All right, so it should be a two hour, actually a three hour drive uh, to the first location where we're gonna be meeting up everybody and then from there, it's another hour drive to OGHQ, which is Obsessed Garage headquarters. So it's still kind of dark right now. I'll check in with you guys when it gets a little bit more brighter outside. All right, just pulled into a rest stop in Port St. Lucie, picked up a Dunkin' Donuts ham, egg, and cheese with a croissant. So I'm gonna eat that real quick and then continue on to the next stop, which is gonna be basically the first meeting point uh, where we're meeting everybody else. Uh, the meeting points changed twice or another time already, so I'm hoping the, the new address that uh, FAD Ho gave me is correct. So hopefully it's legitimate I know the address when I pulled it up on Google Maps, it was basically the middle of the highway. But I think just north of that is the service station that they're referring to. So I'm gonna be heading up there and eat this real quick and continue going. The touch of yours is what I've been looking for. Will you say my name? I just wanna feel you more. All right, just a little update. So a little confusing earlier. Uh, Viet kind of confused me. Uh, he gave me a different address to go to and that was basically leading me totally different than where we're supposed to be at. It was leading me somewhere south of the original location. So um, he clarified and we are gonna be meeting at the first location where it was basically off the turnpike. It's actually on the turnpike at a Shell gas station. I should be there a lot earlier than everybody else. I'm going to be there about 8 o'clock. Everybody else is meeting there at 8.30. Um, from there, I'm going to wipe the bugs off the car. There's a lot of dead bugs on the car. Um, I was hoping I wasn't going to hit a lot, but yeah, the windows are pretty covered. So you're not going to be able to see it on camera from inside, but you may be able to see it on the outside. So I may show you guys a little bit. Just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. I woke up at, I would say, 3.30 in the morning. I had to re-upload another video that I posted on last week's video and um, I had to basically change one of the songs. One of the songs I was using was copyrighted so I had to do that early in the morning and then pack the car up. I have extra towels to take off obviously the bugs, wipe the car down a little bit. Um, luckily the front clip of my car has PPF so I'm not going to be really scratching the car if I'm wiping these bugs off raw. But I'm going to use some lubricant um, and just get it all 
ready for uh, a Seth's Garage open house. But another, I would say, another 40, 40 minutes until we get to the rest stop. And uh, when we get there, I'll check in with you guys and we'll continue along with the day. I may split this into two, two different vlogs, maybe uh, vlog one of uh, the event and also uh, the shenanigans after, It'll be a, a vlog after with uh, the rest of the other uh, people like Viet, Kyler, and a whole bunch of other people I'm gonna be meeting. But it should be a good time. Weather, weather, looks, pre weather looks pretty good. It's not supposed to rain today, but who knows, this is Florida. It could rain, but we'll see. I just pulled into, I guess, the meeting location. This is a, uh, I guess, a rest stop. There's a Shell gas station here. So A quality gasoline. Uh, I'm gonna wipe the bugs off the front and let's check it out. All right, guys, we just made it. Actually, we've been here, but everybody's rolling in right now. You have a whole bunch of uh, M4s, M3s. You got my M3 right there. F80 hose late, he's just arrived. Um, but right now we're gonna be on our way in a little bit over to Obsessed Garage headquarters where the festivals continue. But um, I'm sweating. I was detailing the car earlier and the car was full of bugs and stuff. So, so this guy right here almost got me to a different location. I was about to go to like somewhere like in Martin County. My God, my brother from another. <laughs> to go, you all know. Yeah, hey, exactly. What's going on, you ready? Man? You ready? What's going on, man. Good to see That's, you. It's so hot and Vlog humid. Section. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a hot day for sure. Real question is, who's leading? I guess I will. It's back in my hometown, so. Okay. Okay. This is actually a, a pretty decent uh, squad here, so it'll be pretty fun to roll up, get some B-roll for you guys. And then when we get to uh, the location, we're actually going to be shooting some more videos there. But um, it should be a really chill day and have a good time. Um, the main thing is just enjoy it. Enjoy the footage. I'll tell you this. I forgot your name. The guy in the front with the M4. Yas Marina M4. With the uh, white calibers and white interior. Clean as shit. Clean. Really clean. I like the GTS taillights, they don't look ricey or anything at all in that car, but um, well done, white cow. So we are probably another 33 miles away from OG HQ. Um, traffic's picking up a little bit, not too bad, but road's actually surprisingly a little bit rough out here on the turnpike. But I uh, got some B-roll for you guys, so enjoy that, clips. Um, we're gonna get there, we're gonna have a good time. Uh, good thing I wiped the car down a little bit over here at the rest stop. It was pretty bad. Oh, just wanted to say happy birthday to my car. It just hit 30,000 miles. Happy birthday to my car. About 20 miles ago. So I kind of missed that. But um, my shirt's soaked in sweat. It's so freaking hot in Florida. But then again, it could be worse, right? You could be living in New York. Nothing against in New York. I used to live there. But I'm sorry, those roads are horrible. I would not be able to have BBS wheels and have it survive multiple years there. But uh, everybody's cool here. Everybody's, I've seen their car on Instagram, but now it's pretty cool putting the face to the, to the car. Yeah, it's just my style. Everybody has their own style. So definitely tune the car and build the car the way you want it. You may have saw that uh, on video. Kyler, sorry, I don't know what happened. I think you got pulled over. Uh, I'm not sure what for, but when we get to uh, OGH here, we'll find out exactly what happened and what was it for. But uh, sucks, man. Sorry to hear. Sorry to see that. All right. The real question is, what did Kyler get stopped for? So let's ask him. So Kyler, what'd you get stopped for? What's going on? What'd you get stopped for? I guess we were hooning. Too much hooning. What'd you do? <laughs> what'd you do? I didn't do anything. I was the one actually kind of going the speed limit. She said I was going like 10 over, but I think one of us peeled out after going through the toll booth. And so that's what got her attention. And she was right there at the toll booth. No one saw her. <laughs> I knew who that was. 
So basically, Kyler got in trouble because of this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's pushing like six, what, 600? Uh, six? Uh, like 630 maybe right now. I'm not done with the tune. To the wheels or to, to wheels. uh, okay. So decent amount of power. Um, but yeah, luckily nobody got tickets though, so that was good. Alright, so if you guys remember from the last episode, previous, way, way long ago, um, we had a window film done and we're back with him again. This is Alio Window Tent. He's actually located in central uh, Orlando or central Florida, right? Yep. And he has the OCD touch. So obviously Matt Mormon tr trusts him and I watch his channel and I'm really OCD too. So reference that, he did a great job and definitely check him out because he's expanding. Yep. Going from uh, mobile to having a standalone location in Claremont, right? Correct. I mean, I started, built the brand off being mobile, off my own work ethic, and I've just grown to the point where I'm losing too much driving around because I can't handle the amount of people that are wanting to deal business with me. And I'm losing too much to lifted trucks, people that don't have garages. So it's time to kind of get a brick and mortar, transition a little bit, but I'll have a 2,000 square foot shop. It'll look like a surgical room, so it'll be nice and tidy, be able to get you that clean outcome that you're looking for and that I'm proud to say that I did. And maybe later on we may have another feature and going over to the shop and checking everything out because I'm, I'm excited for him. You know, starting from where he was now and going to where he's going to be able to grow into, it's just insane. So uh, besides that, we're going to enjoy the cars here and just check it out because I've been watching this, this guy's channel for like years now. I've never been up here. It's a four hour drive, but well worth it. Thing so far, I actually haven't gone inside yet. I haven't gone inside. <laughs> no, I haven't gone inside I saw you yet. talking to his tent guy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. he did uh, my window yeah. film in the front, and actually I was recording a whole clip in the beginning. I didn't you came up here for that? Yeah, not here, oh, but like okay. to my father's house. He oh, actually came word. to my father's house, and we oh, we did the whole film because the person that did it in uh, South Florida they screwed up. No it was like overstretched the film and everything, so it didn't come out good. And good after job. watching this guy's yeah. you know videos and stuff, and he's he's been he doing all his cars, cars. yeah. 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 So definitely hit him up if you guys are in the central oh, yeah. location of Orlando or Central Florida. For He'll sure. drive to you, and he's actually opened up a uh, shop in Claremont in the next year. So check him out, definitely. Bro, nice take, guy. You gotta take out the cars. Yeah. 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 This is towel. I'm holding back. I already have everything I need. Do you guys have an email? I could buy the whole store, but I'm trying not to. Oh, okay, okay. Responsible. Get a, get a wedding, you know. Wedding, you know. You know. He knows. He knows. Don't help, don't let him fool you. He knows. Give me some leverage. Oh, I like it. Alright. That's it, man. It's only 247. Oh, um, how do you want to pay? Uh, card. Card? One liter. Just add the card on you? Sure. Thank you. Never been naturally what? There you go, guys. Alright. So this is the vlog inception. I've been saying that for like uh, the whole day. I'm oh, like we, drenched in sweat. I was asking yeah, them, like, is your, is your shirt soaked? I'm soaked. My shirt's soaked. White shirt's still soaked. Are y'all standing in the sun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. White shirts, man. Vlog section. Vlog section. What's up, guys? Before we get into the preview of part number two of the continuation of this video, I want to take this time to thank our sponsors. So I definitely want to thank the team over at Simply Carbon Fiber for sending me this wallet. And this is not a simple wallet. Check it out. So as you can see, it's Alcantara with carbon fiber. So this is the perfect weekend for me to use this wallet. Tomorrow I'm actually going to multiple car events. Uh, tomorrow we're actually flying out to New Jersey where we're going to be with the rest of the BMW Invasion team. And what we're going to be doing there is the Invasion of the Poconos. And then the day after that, we're going to be going over to Impact. And you know me, I'm going to vlog every single thing, every single moment of it. And stay tuned for those videos. 
But besides that, let's get back into the preview of part number two of the Obsessed Garage open house. Thank you so much, uh, Simbi Carbon Fiber. Shit, I didn't drive four hours for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to see some dude's house. Okay. <laughs> I'm willing to die for this shit. I'm ready to flip and I end up in prison the rest of my life for this shit. So my mama ain't want me, she got in a bush and I end up surviving this shit. And if I want a son and I ain't got the money, I'll probably be robbing this shit. Don't know how much I cry for this shit. Said I'm willing to ride for this shit. You know murder's my hobby inside of my closet, it's a bunch of dead bodies and shit. Niggas said it, I'm cursed, cause I go to church and stare at the Bible and shit. Shorty say I'm the worst, cause I do my dirt, and now I'm be hot in this shit. Bitch, I'm a savage, I spit at you bastards, I wonder what you gonna do to me, oh? I need to hear some more rapping, I'm just not impressed by your cash and your jewelry, oh? Are you my soldiers, and I'm a lieutenant, god damn it, you should be saluting me, oh? I hope you know I ain't going nowhere, are you rapping, just better get used to me, ho nigga, I must have blew on my jeans, bought me a Jeep, cause I wasn't riding as much. My bank account looking weak, don't look at me, I ain't got time for no fun. Starting to feel like Tyree, I'm about to trip and maybe start crying or something. I might just hit up the Smiths, throw me a fit, wait for my wire to come.